Now uh, I'm going to basically start unclipping the wire harness here and clear out this area. Uh, PCV valve is right here. Disconnect that hose and just give me more room so that I can remove the valve cover. To remove the coil pack, these are held in by 10 millimeter bolts. Now using a 5 8 spark plug socket, go ahead and remove the spark plugs. Now I'm going to remove the four 10 millimeter bolts in the front of the valve cover. There's, there are four at the back, two on the side. So now that the valve cover is off, um, on the corner, on the passenger side, down there and over here, there's some old um, RTV silicone here, so remove those, clean that out. And I'm going to get some brake clean and clean the surface here. So here's the brand new valve cover. Uh, this is OEM from Nissan and it comes with the PCV valve. The spark plug hole already have the O-ring installed. And they don't sell the old ring separately, so you might as well just get the new uh, replacement valve cover. And then the other thing you need to get is the gasket for the valve cover. And this one just basically slide into this uh, groove along the edge.
the gasket sits nicely into the groove. Now before installing the valve cover, you need to pick up some RTV silicone. And the reason you need that is because at the corner over here, and that's also at the bottom where it turns 90 degrees, you need to put a dab of, actually a big dab of um, RTV silicone so that it won't leak. Now when it comes to tightening the valve cover, make sure you have a torque wrench and what the service manual calls for is initially tighten it down to 17 inch pounds um, starting with this bolt here and then you go across so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, the side is 9 and the other side is 10 here. So first you tighten it down to 17 inch pounds and after that do the same thing. Um, bolt by bolt and tighten it down to 74 inch pounds. Now these are the spark plugs uh, this engine needs. Make sure you get the NGK. PLFR5A-11 or another part number is 6240 and uh, these are the same one they use in the original uh, OEM spark plug into the engine After you tighten all the spark plugs, then we're going to reinstall the coil pack. And don't forget the 10mm bolt that holds down the coil pack. 